It's another beautiful day at Lake Mead. Join me while we dive the wreck of the Brandon Murphy. I'm Russ from Mission Scuba and welcome back. And today we're out here at Lake Mead on the south side of Sentinel Island. And man, it is a beautiful day out here. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely incredible. So it's May. 2024 and we're out here on the lake haven't been here for a few weeks and we're super excited to be back I'm on here with the boat with uh, Lydia and Steven and we got Lucy as usual and it's gonna be a great day uh, Like I said, it's been a while since I've been out diving just life has been getting in the way It's been windy days on the days. We want to come out here. So we just haven't been able to do it um, back in March I went with a couple buddies of mine down to Mexico and did some cave diving in the snow days and it was fantastic so that was a fantastic trip and I've been diving dry suits since I've been back because the water's so cold here in the winter but today's my first day back in a wetsuit and that's just going to make it even better so today we're diving a wreck called the Brandon Murphy and a little bit of backstory about the Brandon Murphy is Brandon Murphy was kind of a I don't know I hate to say douchebag but we had been diving uh, pretty heavily at this point. This is back in the late 2000s, so 2008, 2009, 2010 maybe, doing some serious deep, a lot of exploration out of the lake, and we were checking out this place called the Low Level Water Treatment Plant out in Black Canyon. Historic place from the building of Hoover Dam back in the 30s, and at this site, it was about 240, 245 feet at the time, there was like a wood ladder. It was like a short one, maybe six feet tall. And it was just like a wood ladder the workers had put there to go from one level in the, in the canyon to the next level, like just an incline. And it was bolted in place. And it was just so cool to see it. It was dark and this old historic wood. So anyway, some other dickhead divers broke this ladder. I don't know if they did it on purpose or they were trying to stand on it to be funny, but they broke the rungs out of the ladder and we made a big stink about it and we were trying to flush out these guys on a dive form that Brandon Murphy ran. And um, he pretty much shut down what we were doing and that pissed us off because we really wanted to figure out who did it and kind of hold him responsible because it was a historic site. So anyway, so that's kind of the backstory. But, so this boat is called the Brandon Murphy and I think I have some old photos. I'll see if I can round them up and Put them on here but it was some photos i had gotten from like a my myspace page or something at the time that showed this boat on land and they're pretty funny pictures but when i get to this wreck it's been a long time i can only imagine it's covered with quaggas and goop on it but um if i can brush off some of it to show you some of the writings on this boat it's pretty funny um but in this boat there's an ice chest in it and there's some wine coolers of some sort in the ice chest there's some pretty funny things i'll see if i can point them out but this boat, it's basically, I'm on the south side of Sentinel Island, so I have to go all the way around up the east side of it, up north. It's about a 20 minute ride on the scooter to get there. And the Brandon Murphy itself, I think it's about 120 feet right now, maybe 130. And it sits just north of Wreck Alley. So I'm not sure if I can find it right away, but if I overshoot it, I'll backtrack to Wreck Alley and then go a little bit north and I'll see if I can find it. But it's going to be a great day. Water is about 69 degrees on the surface, maybe 70, so should be a pretty great dive. Um, diving straight up air, side mount, diving alone, and it should be fantastic. So stay tuned. We'll do a little talk after the video, and I'll try to get some great footage for you. I'll see you soon.
All right, back from the dive. That was great. Uh, my battery died about an hour and five minutes into the dive, so I had to do the last 25 minutes just swimming back, so that kind of sucked. Just clipped off my scooter on the back and just came back, so a little bit of a surprise there. I guess it's time for some new batteries in my scooter, but it was great. Made it all the way to the Brandon Murphy, wiped off a lot of the boat, so hopefully we could see the writing, but you could see the paint was coming off and everything, but it was awesome. Uh, the boat was only about 90 feet, maybe 100 feet, and man, I think the last time I was there, it was like 140, 145, so it's been a while. Anyway, great dive. Water temperature's great, weather's great, beautiful women on the boat, and that's about it. So if you like these videos, you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe down at the bottom and join the Mission Scuba family, and most of all, dive safe.